Hello Cancer, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about what you can expect in love, who or what is coming towards you. Keep in mind that these readings are general, so they will not resonate for everyone watching. So if you find that this isn't your story, don't try to make it fit. Instead, you can check out the Cancer playlist, which is linked in the description box. Lots of readings there for your sign that might resonate more. So let's jump right in for Cancer Spirit Angels Guides. What messages, what guidance do you have for Cancer in love? What can Cancer expect in love? What can Cancer expect in love? Okay, so we have poised. So this is kind of like being ready for some something to happen ready to take action poised to take action so i feel like there's going to be some sort of shift here someone taking action um maybe someone taking a leap because this woman is like jumping it looks like she's like leaping and looking very free while she's doing it so very full energy there um bottom of the deck though is chaos and conflict so this could be happening in the midst of some difficulty um, and this could be of course you or the person that you're dealing with because this is just generally what's coming towards you in love all right for cancer spirit can we get some more insight what's going on for cancer in love this is from my stellar energy oracle deck what's going on for cancer poetic justice fairness balance karma what's going on for a cancer in love difficult decision options choices and decision hmm so I feel when I saw poetic justice I was really excited because I was like okay whatever's happening here cancer it's going to be fair to you it's going to be right karma you know but i feel like difficult decision is an energy where karma or this poetic justice cannot happen it's tied to this so let's see if that shows up in the tarot what else do we need to know for cancer what else do we need to know what else do we need to know what is coming cancer's way in love king of pentacles the sun the chariot there you are cancer Bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Wands, resistance, defense, guarding um, against something, standing firm against a challenge. Could be dealing with an Earth sign, another Cancer. There's definitely some sort of move that's happening because the Cherry is here, and that's all about moving forward towards some sort of success being on the right path headed in the right direction the chariot moves quickly the sun is an energy of happiness joy good news celebration radiance and the king of pentacles tends to be somebody that is very grounded um they take their time they're very careful dedicated practical energies so let's clarify all of these. Get some more clarity, please, on all these energies for Cancer. Why is the King of Pentacles here? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Why is the King of Pentacles here? The Sun shows up again. Can I get one more, please, for this King of Pentacles? Why is the King of Pentacles here, Spirit? Death, Scorpio energy. A lot of major arcana already, which is telling me there's some major shifts happening here. Some big events. Death is all about endings, change, transformation, rebirth. 
an ending that leads to a new beginning. So it's very interesting that the sun is here with death, almost like someone's happy or um, it's, this is something to celebrate, this death energy. So tell me about the sun. Why is the sun here? Queen of Pentacles. Why is the sun here? Wow, the Ten of Cups. I feel like you're going to be very happy with whatever's happening here. <laughs> um, I have to clarify that chariot to double check. But I feel someone's going to be very happy here. The King and the Queen of Pentacles are both here. So counterparts, partners. Um, they tend to be um, a very committed couple. Um, very successful. To me, as a reader, the King of Pentacles tends to be already in a long-term commitment or a provider a lot of the time, but they can also just be kind of the ideal partner that you want to have, you know, the traits of a King of Pentacles, like I said earlier. They tend to be very dedicated, natural providers. Um, they don't play around. The Devil, Capricorn Energy. What's this also sticking out here? Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. So the devil, attachments, restriction, temptations, addictions. With the Queen of Cups. So there could be a lot, a lot of um, feelings here with the Queen of Cups. And you could be dealing with a Capricorn, but I'm gonna put this to the side because I feel there's more to that than I know just yet. Tell me about the chariot. Why is the chariot here, Spirit? Page of Swords. Hmm. Why is the chariot here? Why is the cherry here? The magician. The lovers at the bottom of the deck, Gemini energy. This is fascinating to me because I feel like, you know how I said the cherry is about moving forward. This could just be you, Cancer. You know, this is just representing your energy here. Um, I feel like this is more about communication than action. I'm trying to figure out why I'm, why I'm feeling that way. Tell me about death. Why is death here? Why is death here? Nine of Pentacles. Freedom, independence. Why is death here? In this deck, it kind of annoys me that the Nine of Pentacles looks like the Eight of Cups. It looks like that woman is walking away from something. Um, the High Priestess. Hidden knowledge, secrets, intuitive energy. So why is the Magician here? Because the Magician is somebody that takes action. It's to be manifested energy. Why is the Magician here? What's that? The Hermit, Virgo energy. Tell me about the Page of Swords. Tell me about the Page of Swords, please. Two of Wands. Hmm. Tell me about the Page of Swords. Why is the Page of Swords here? Four of Pentacles. Okay, I'm just going to clarify this double and then I'm going to tell you what I see. Spirit, why is the double here? Why is the devil here for Cancer? Two of Pentacles. Why is the devil here? Why is the devil here? The Emperor. Aries energy. Bottom of the deck, the Six of Swords. Okay, so, um... I'm starting to think that the decision that this difficult decision 
is talking about because there's obviously an energy here of having to make a decision with the two of wands the two of pentacles i feel like this decision is someone deciding to take action with the emperor aries energy the magician uh the chariot um i feel like someone is feeling a bit stuck right now with the devil um they could maybe be thinking about this a lot um, because I feel like there's potential here for something very happy, very joyful, a happy ending with the Ten of Cups. But there's also like an ending, moving away, movement, um, and this like holding back energy with the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles with the Hermit, I instantly thought of someone holding something back, keeping something to themselves. They don't tend to be very, you know, the Hermit's withdrawn. They don't really communicate much. Um, but I think that someone has been kind of quietly manifesting or thinking about what they want to do. Um, and when I clarify the Page of Swords, which is some sort of message, information, I got the Two of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. So it's like someone's communicating about a decision that they want to make that they've been holding back on. And it's, again, this quiet energy with the High Priestess. So I'm wondering how much you really know about what's going on. The, de uh, the death card with the nine of pentacles, it's almost like some sort of ending is freeing someone or some sort of ending is bringing about like this independence. And it could be this king of pentacles. I do have two queens and one king, so I'm wondering if there's a third party energy here. Um, it didn't really show up super strongly, so I don't want to like um hone in on that but i definitely feel like there's a decision that someone needs to make before you and this person can really get the ball rolling tell me about this two of pentacles and the two of wands what's this decision about spirit for cancer why is the two of pentacles two of wands here the world oh my god yep why why is the two of wands and the two of pentacles here spirit that's why the death card is here the lovers again and then the wheel of fortune yep four of swords at the bottom of the deck so this is what i'm seeing um someone has to make a decision i don't know if it's you or the person you're with cancer but someone needs to make a decision to end a cycle in order to begin a new one with the world the world is all about starting something new one chapter closes, another one starts. I feel like this is something that has been manifested or divinely guided with the Wheel of Fortune or perhaps someone's just waiting for the right time. But when I see the, the Wheel of Fortune with the lovers, I think of like divine counterparts coming together at the right time. So um, I feel like this is a departure. Six of Swords, the Chariot, the Nine of Pentacles, which looks like the Eight of Cups in this deck the death card, the world, something has to end. And that's why this difficult decision, I felt like it was, it, this had to happen first before you, this poetic justice. And I feel like this po poised energy is just letting us know that someone's ready to take this decision. They're just holding back four of swords. They're not communicating or taking action with the four of swords, holding back with the four of pentacles, holding back with the high priestess maybe because they're stuck or restricted with that devil energy let's see let's look at your person the person that you're dealing with but before i do that i want to grab a couple more and um oracles about this connection first and then we'll look at your person the person that you might be dealing with or are dealing with now tell me more about this connection for cancer what do we need to know about this connection between cancer and this other person what's going on here for cancer in love spirit what's going on for cancer in love unrequited love so when I think of unrequited love, I think of like an imbalance between two people. Um, they're not on the same page. One gives more or cares more than the other, or at least that's how it feels. 
Pay attention to the red flags and wedding, marriage. Okay, so this is interesting. Um, I feel like there's something going on here that maybe isn't what it seems when you first look at it. Like there's more to this than someone's aware of. <clears throat> maybe it has to do with commitment. Maybe somebody's not ready or willing to commit. And there's some red flags there or someone's already in a marriage or a commitment and there's some red flags there tell me more about what's going on here for cancer what's this toil and labor so this is like effort time energy and occupation so work putting in effort. bottom of the deck is lovers I feel like there's something going on here, you know, and Cancer, you've had kind of, I don't know if it's been you specifically or just in general, I've been getting this with the signs, the different signs, but I feel like um, several signs are dealing with someone who is saying, I'm working on it, I'm focused, I'm putting in energy, I'm working really hard on such and such, but the results aren't there. Also, I'm getting that for a small number of you, the third party, if there is a third party here with this wedding energy, because not all of you are dealing with a person that's married. Um, some of you are dealing with someone that says they're going to commit and they're not, they just, there's something off there. But for those of you that are dealing with a marriage, there's a big block here. And you're not really getting the whole story. Who was that, Sagittarius? I just recently did a reading with Sagittarius that had that similar message so let's look at this person that you're dealing with spirit tell me more about this person that cancer is has or will be dealing with what do we need to know about this individual what do we need to know about this person that cancer is has or will be dealing with what do we need to know four of pentacles knight of swords and the five of cups so I feel they have something to say. Yeah, there's the Knight of Cups. So some sort of honest message, an apology perhaps. Um, I feel like there's regrets here with the Five of Cups, sadness, disappointment, and the Four of Pentacles is a card about holding on to something and it could even be interpreted as holding back as well, which is kind of how I felt it was showing up in the previous spread. So let's get some um, clarity. Can I get some clarity, please? For this individual tell me about the four of pentacles please three of pentacles okay that's way too many i'm not going to grab all those tell me about the four of pentacles why is the four of pentacles here six of swords so there's that six of swords again working on a departure putting an effort to move away to move towards something can I get one more for the Four of Pentacles, please? So why the holding back? Yeah, there's the Two of Pentacles. It's like someone's going back and forth here. Still undecided or trying to juggle two things at the same time. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. What's this message about? What's this truth about? The Knight of Swords tends to be very blunt to the point. The Hermit shows up again. Virgo energy. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Death, Scorpio energy, okay, shows up again. Tell me about the Knight of Swords, please. Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is a card about not feeling happy, content, satisfied. You're closed off to new opportunities because you're still dealing with these three cups that are next to you. The hermit's withdrawn and quiet. So I'm wondering, you know, it's like maybe someone has really thought about what to tell you here before they say it. Or maybe they're opening up after being quiet about something. Um, I feel like the conversation is about this death card. What has to end? Maybe they're still figuring it out with the hermit. Maybe they're not completely open to this ending. I'm not sure. I'll have to clarify that in a second. Tell me about the Five of Cups. 
Why is the five of cups here? Two of cups. Why is that with the five of cups? Sadness, disappointment over a partnership? Regrets over the past? Maybe because it affected a two of cups partnership? Yeah, page of cups. I feel like this is an apology. Tell me about a five of cups. Why is five of cups here? I got more than one. Page of pentacles and eight of wands. Okay, and then the magician. I feel like someone's going to apologize because something hasn't happened the way that you thought it was going to happen or the way they said it was going to happen and this page of pentacles is a small offer so it's almost like hey i'm really sorry but this is this is what i'm working on this is what i'm going to make happen this is what I, I i'm telling you i'm going to do this and then there's the five of cups again maybe this person you know maybe it hasn't been easy or they feel very sad or depressed or maybe they're just this is how they have made you maybe they're maybe you're this five of cups really sad and you know i don't know maybe they're missing you and you're missing them but it's it's almost like this whatever this apology is, is or whatever this like sadness is about it's almost like this person wants to tell you that they're going to do something about it so let's look at this death card with the four of cups actually let's get them together tell me about death and the four of cups okay eight of cups and the two of cups those kind of just fell out okay the high priestess tell me about death and the four of cups what is going on the cards are just coming out page of swords okay bottom of the deck the knight of wands Again, the two of cups. So I feel like there's a strong connection here, maybe a soulmate connection. The lover showed up as well. Eight of cups is that walking away energy that already we've kind of discussed. And the high priestess with the page of swords. I feel like this person is going to be honest with you about a departure because there's something here with the page of swords about telling the truth or just opening up being, being direct with the knight of swords as well. And the high priest says, you know, there's this is secrets. I feel like this is something you're not really aware of. Like there's some, there's a detail here or something going on that you're just not, you don't know the whole story. And this, this, if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, go check out that reading I did. I think it was like a few weeks back by the time that this is up, like last week, maybe. The title literally says you're not getting the whole story and something like that, so... Very similar energies here. But I feel like you're going to get some sort of communication from this individual that will tell you what you need to know that you didn't really know before. Tell me about this person's energy. Tell me about this person's energy. I'm ready to commit. That's what you need to know. I can't let you go. I wish I could be with you at the bottom of the deck. What else do we need to know about this person's energy? So they're not with you with, I wish I could be with you. And I can't let you go either. Interesting. It was my fault, but I blamed you. I replay our conversations over and over. And bottom of the deck, I will wait for a sign from you. So I think that this person, I mean, I hate to say it, but I feel like there's something here that's a bit off. It's, I feel like this I'm ready to commit. When I look at this card, I sense almost like frustration. Um, maybe they've already told you this before, or maybe this person has just given you empty promises, and there's like frustration here. Like all these energies, I look at this, and it's almost like you, you know, like this energy of someone rolling their eyes or being like, that's not enough. I'm not sure where this frustration is coming from. It could be also coming from them. Like they're frustrated that they can't deliver more than this. Um, I think that there have been some issues between you and this person because it was my fault, but I blamed you. I replay our conversations over and over. Maybe things were said that weren't, it, it didn't help this connection. Let me just say, say it that way. But this person is not over this connection. I can't let you go. You know, it's like they, they still want to be with you. Um, but I just don't think it's going to happen in the way that you expect. 
So I'm gonna take this to the extended. I'm gonna find out, or at least try to find out what you can expect next in the near future.